And after almost three years, she's finally here. Welcome back to DCC Soto, everyone. Today, we're gonna be looking at the highly, highly anticipated Bachman Daisy. So, background on Daisy, we uh, first learned that Bachman was planning to make Daisy in summer 2019 at the first ever um, NMRA, well not first ever, for first ever Thomas announcements at the NMRA Nationals, uh, along with Peter Sam. So Peter Sam will have been three years once he's released. Uh, and then the other things that came out that year were the oil tanker and those three one plank wagons. So after three years, she's finally here. And while despite, oh geez, sorry, despite some flaws, she looks great and she runs beautifully. So without further ado, uh, let's take a look at the packaging. Of course, I was just so excited to get this thing out of the box. I could not, I could not wait to do a video on it until after I got her running. So let's take a look at the box. All right, so here's the box. You know, standard large engine from Bachman. And on the back, we have, you know, typical, here's what's, else is coming out and is out uh no ryan on here surprisingly and we've got a great head-on picture of daisy and her eyes do move as all bachman engines do so you can see that the packaging was developed in 2021 so she was almost ready to go but shipping delays i think delayed her getting to us until late march early april um nothing really exciting there uh so let's move on to something that's a little more interesting that is her blister that she came in now this blister usually we would only have gotten this part here and you know daisy would come in here you pull her out but this time you actually have a cover over top which is great because it means you can transport these models now like you could stack some of these on top of each other. So I hope they keep doing this and keep this up for the next couple models, uh, for the next and every other upcoming models. Uh, there's some projects I'm working on. Okay. All right. So let's move Daisy down a little bit and take a look at some of her details. I think uh, someone's a little bit jealous of Daisy and all the attention she's getting and for some reason she won't stop uh oh all right so now after getting Daisy where I wanted her let me get in a little bit closer here and sorry for the shaky cam this is a bit of freehand I couldn't find my tripod and I was just too excited to keep looking for it so First thing, uh, if you couldn't tell by the way I was running her, she is already DCC equipped. I did that myself. She does not come DCC equipped. That would be really cool if she did, but she'd also probably be a little more expensive than what she is. Um, so anyways, let's take a look at the truck detailing, or um, excuse me, that's American terms. I'll go with UK terms, the bogey detailing. We've got some leaf springs, minimal detailing, but CGI accurate. We even got some underbody detailing here, which I think is really cool. I mean, it's not, you know, rapido level underbody detailing, but then again, we don't expect Daisy to crash and be able to see any of the nice detailing. And on the bottom just says Bachman, and then it has the Thomas copyright information as well. So of course, you know who made it. Uh, not that you couldn't tell it was a Thomas model. And from Bachman, of course. Uh, again, some leaf springs. And, uh, well, let's just talk about this 
The elephant in the room is the unpainted, or the um, painted on windows and just molded in instead of, you know, a nice, clean, open look. Uh, you know, the eye mechanism sits from here to here. The decoder sits right on top of the motor and the motor's about this tall anyways. And then the drive shaft and there's a whole bunch of weight right in back here. Daisy is actually one of the heaviest models. I think the heaviest Bachman model to date. There's tons of weight over this back powered bogey slash truck. And then the front one actually isn't powered, but that's okay. You know, Daisy's not supposed to pull a whole lot. Uh, so it makes sense that they kind of only went with one, but I hope that they engineer a way. I mean, I'm sure it'll be like 7,000 gears. Uh, but I hope in the future, if we get more models like Daisy, say, I don't know, Derek, Boko. Uh, Daisy was the only bogey, diesel, well, except for Diesel 10, but mm, Diesel 10 doesn't really count. Daisy was the only large diesel we ever saw on CGI, so she might be the only model we ever get like this. But if they ever do, or are able to do others in the future, I hope, like Boko, he's a strong freight diesel. He should be able to pull with both powered trucks um but anyways uh i got off topic and digressed so much that i forgot what i was talking about the windows so yeah this hides all the mechanism inside i know another any a uh, few other companies would have done differently um but it is what it is i i don't see any problems with it you know we never really could see into daisy's interior in the cgi series and in the model series all you saw was the eye servos so that didn't really look too good anyways so i'm okay with this um if we take a look at her face i know it's kind of in the shadows just because my lighting here is the lights in my room are kind of going all crappy on me so that's not good but her face is very cgi accurate she's got nice pink sorry not pink buffers but white buffers and even this nice separately fitted uh brake pipe which looks great she's got the blanked out destination boards and the nice headlight she's got excellent excellent roof detailing and the printing oh the printing for the lining if it'll focus too close printing looks excellent very crisp and uh let me move here without catching anything behind me i don't want to catch the shelves okay we can see the nice silver gloss we get on the top looks great um there's another new purchase in the background and we've got these nice four lights on the back which i hope soon shall be illuminated um but that's that's another that's a for another time so as i mentioned earlier daisy is dcc equipped she has a i'll show some pictures up here um probably cover up the whole screen she has a nix trains decoder buddy mini it, right on top of her motor for right now a tcs eu621 21 pin decoder because ESU, I can, for the not for the life of me, find an ESU decoder right now that I can plug in. Um, but that's okay, because I need to figure out how I'm going to do the speakers as well. And then, uh, so she has pickups from both wheels, which is excellent. Good to see from Bachman, which will provide good pickup power over, you know, plastic frogs and many other dead spots on motor railroads so and then of course you know two wires to the motor and i'll show just how i did that again i probably have shown it already so i think instead of babbling on about things that nobody really cares about let's get daisy running and i'll show her running on the layout nice smooth start
and what a smooth stop. So Daisy, as you guys can see there, is an excellent, excellent runner. Now, uh, if you saw from my pictures of adding the decoder, you can see the mechanism inside. She's got a big, chunky motor. I'm assuming it's a five pole. It's pretty smooth, so I would assume that it probably is a five pole, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, and it has the world's smallest flywheel on it. Uh, but say la vie, it still works. She doesn't really need much. She's not pulling anything. I doubt that I'll ever have her pull anything unless it's like maybe two milk tankers or something, you know, if she'll even let me do that. But that's another story. Um, so yeah, excellent, excellent, excellent runner. Uh, they, quiet as can be. And, um, probably Bachman's best model. And I know we've, uh, kind of gotten into the habit of saying that, uh, last new tooling we had was Rosie, I believe. Man, that's been a long time. And Rosie was probably Bachman's best runner before now. So keep up the good work, Bachman. Uh, I hope you take some feedback when we give it to you. And uh, I'm excited to see what Bachman has in store for us with Peter, Sam, Sir Handel, and Ryan. It's a pretty exciting time to be a Bachman Thomas fan, I'd say. Um, but let me know your guys' thoughts on Daisy in the comments below. Do you like her? Do you think she's too much money? Do you think... She should have had open windows. Do you think both bogeys should be powered? Is it fine that one is powered? Just let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye. Come on, come on, just one tanker. Come on, come on. Yeah!